on mute. I am on hold with CBC's Mark Connolly, about to do an interview about the last day of production for Pipe Nation. Um, so I can't be on speakerphone, so you can't hear me right now, but I'm going to overlay the audio from the actual interview so you guys can hear what he asks. Well, filming for a new Alberta-based TV series has just wrapped up. It's called Pipe Nation. It was directed by Edmondson's Raoul Bat, and he joins us on the line to tell us more. Good morning, Raoul. Good morning, Mark. It's good to be back. So it's good to chat with you. Uh, tell us what Pipe Nation is all about. Yeah, so it's a, a dramatic TV series uh, filmed here in Alberta, and um, it is a TV show about frontline energy sector workers. And um, and and being a dramatic series, we've worked with um, full actra, um, so we have professional actors a- involved in the show, um, but using um, real life. Uh, machines and sets that you commonly see in the energy sector but people around the world may not have seen so um so it's a drama series it has its own um um, arcs and hooks and storylines but it is based off um what the frontline energy sector workers experience um on a day-to-day basis to support their families and and showcasing the camaraderie friendship and family well, I mean, any story in Alberta that involves the energy sector kind of makes sense. I mean, it's the big, you know, one of the biggest things that's built our economy, that's for sure. Uh, what sort of struck you as the idea? How did this come about? Well, the thing about the energy sector, it is full of drama. So whether you are a supporter or against it, um, you're going to watch it. And it's always in the news, um, whether you're building pipelines or, or anything involved with the energy and environment or politics so there's lots and lots of stories and over two years of research we've developed an amazing storyline for this pilot episode and we just completed production and majority of the production was completed on september and august last year and then this year we filmed an insert scene so this is it's a very common practice in in the film industry to to allocate um, a certain portion of the budget and time to to film a scene that would tie together the entire story after editing is complete. So that's what we've done this this last um, this last week on March twentieth. Well, what's it been like shooting during this time of COVID? I mean, even last fall it was kind of uh, touch and go. You know, it's been challenging, Mark. Um, it's been health and safety is number one for for me and my sets because we are um, pioneers in this environment so almost leaders in this environment we need to show leadership and health and safety is number one so we work closely with the unions developed out safety protocols and plans um, safety officers on set um, own chefs um, uh, separating foods Um, everything was has been done meticulously and to the highest end for care of the individuals, social distancing, masks and everything, and, um, and temperature checks. So, so everything we could possibly do has been done to take care of everybody, and so far, so good. Everyone's been healthy and safe on our sets. Now, as you were saying, you're, you're using some of the actual technology that you would use in the industry. So where did you shoot, and how did all that mm-hmm. become available to you? Well, um, one of our supporters is Terra Firma Resources out of, um, out of by, by Eckville, by, by Red Deer and Eckville, and um, they built us an entire pipeline out by Sundry, um, on Sundry, yeah, on Sundry Contracting's ground, so a gravel pit. They dug out an entire um, hill and we built a pipeline for us to film on safely. Because actual pipelines you can't film on because it's for clients or for government projects. So, and there's health and safety issues as well. So, so a lot of things like that we used amazing technologies that were built for us, um, amazing machines which are characters in the show the, of, of themselves and that complement the dynamic and the chemistry between the actors. Um, and they add to the background, they add to the environment, and really sell the scene. And uh, we've even had a uh, Stars helicopter involved in a scene for a rescue, for disaster rescue. So they've been strong supporters of us in providing us a helicopter and, and really adding to this action scenes that, that we've developed out. So um, it's a highly energized show. Um, and, and again, whether you love oil or, or against oil, it's going to be something that you're going to be compelled to watch. Well, pipelines are, you know, fairly divisive in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the reaction is to a show about that. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. The reason we chose pipelining is that they work in some beautiful environments, and I wanted to shoot majority of the show into our foothills in the Rocky Mountains, and um, and these pipeliners do they work in a forest? They're people of the forest, so um, so to captivate both our beauty and these amer- amazing characters, these colorful characters. Um, we chose that industry in specific, but we're taking along many different paths and di- different twists and turns, but along frontline workers and, 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 and even incorporating new energy and, and, and traditional energy and, and, and going back to the 80s. And there, there's a lot of um, seeds that we planted to, to really uh, tell this compelling story. It's gonna be very exciting. You know, I've got a few friends in in the industry who've had to move out to BC, where things are absolutely going crazy this uh, this year. Uh, do you think things are going to pick up here in Alberta now as well? I think so. I think with the tax credit, um, it's really uh, with, with a cap that's been lifted. It, it really makes us competitive to BC, Ontario, Manitoba, and and in other places in the world. Because I think that was my biggest drawback here is that we had such a high caliber show. But in order to be attractive and competitive to other markets, uh, that was our biggest, uh, our, our biggest holdback on, on, on this, uh, on, on getting in a buyer, a buyer like Netflix, Amazon, Apple, any of those guys. They they do they're business people, so they do look at numbers. Um, but it's the best thing that uh, that our government has done for our province, especially in the film industry. So where will we be able to see the show? So we are sending the show, the pilot, out to Netflix, Amazon, Apple um, by May uh, through my entertainment lawyers, and we should hear back whether we're filming all summer. And um, so we don't know where we're going to end up, but but wherever the budget ends up, it's going to equal to 150 to 200 jobs. So we're obviously going for um, for for the best bang for buck for our buyer and for the for the team involved. And um, because it's going to lead to a lot of employment, and it already has led to a lot of employment, but but shooting nine more episodes for the, for season one, and then getting subsequent season two, season three episodes, or season two, season three deals, it it can lead to a, a good long term paying jobs for people that are interested in film. And it all rides on this pilot, hey? A lot of pressure Absolutely. on that. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, a lot of pressure, but. We did everything right. Um, I think the show is incredibly beautiful. We put a lot of detail into the story, um, a lot of research, uh, a lot of uh, community support in providing their stories, um, and we have a lot of buzz on social media. So on Facebook and Instagram, we're you know we're, we have a good positive following and people that do want to see the show happen. Well, we look forward to seeing it, Raul. Best of luck with it, and we'll I'm sure we'll catch up with you again. Thanks for your time, Mark. Take care. Good to chat. Yeah. That's Raul Bat, director of Alberta based TV drama series Pipe Thank you, Nation. Kim. So that was another interview with Mark Connolly. I I feel good. I think we talked about a lot of different things. We talked about um, um, the journey of the show, why the show should exist. For me to do a project of this uh, this scale has been so satisfying. It's been such a growing experience for myself. Not only do I get to connect with amazing people in the community I've, I've built memories with them I've built um, I've made things that uh, like I've made scenes in, in cinematic scenes working with crews where we had you know 20 of us working hard just to capture that perfect frame and get that perfect cinematic lighting it's been um, it's been an awesome journey and, and again that's another interview down on the books um, if you do want to see more about how to prepare for interviews like this, do check out my other YouTube videos. Um, I do get a lot of coaching from some amazing per- media personnel and former media personnel that have gone into this this coaching now. So, um, but um, but again, I'm thankful for your time. And uh, yeah, if you do enjoy what I just said here, please do hit the subscribe button. Um, I will be posting weekly here. So, uh, so it'd be great to keep connecting with you. And, and if you have any questions um, about cinematography, tech, or anything I do, uh, please do post in the comments. I am here to, uh, I'll reply as soon as I can. And um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you.